Hello, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel, Cool Temperate Gardening in Canberra. Today's video is about one of my favourite gardening topics. It's composting. I really like composting as one of the main ways that I um, improve the soil health. Soil health is really important because if we keep the microbes uh, healthy in the soil, then they in turn feed our plants. In today's video, I'll show you the components that I add to my compost. But first, here's a clip of me putting together a new compost bin that Linda gave me. As you can see, I've fast forwarded the video. I'm really not that fast at working. It took about four minutes to put the pieces of the black tub together. You don't need to use black tubs for composting. In the past, I've used a more open pile of hot composting that was more than one metre cubed, but it didn't work very well for me for a number of reasons. So now I use a number of these smaller black tubs. I fill it one black tub with organic matter and then I let it to sit and decompose for a few months whilst I move on to fill the next tub. And by composting my food and garden scraps, I'm reducing the amount of garden waste and food waste thrown into landfill and therefore reducing the amount of greenhouse gas gases produced. A lot of the online literature tells you to put in about 30 parts of carbon for every one part of nitrogen. That's just a lot of numbers to me because I'm not sure how much carbon or how much nitrogen is in each item. So I just put one bucket of carbon type matter in for every one bucket of nitrogen type matter that I put in. So carbon would be like shredded paper or autumn leaves and nitrogen scraps is like vegetable or green garden cuttings. So there I am finishing off the black tub in four minutes. This is the shredded paper and the autumn leaves that I put into this tub and then just some coffee grounds and some green garden waste and some food scraps just layered in to that black tub that it's beside. I also put pelletized manure in because I can't put it in my garden. My helper dog eats it so if I put it in with the compost it tends to break down and be okay by the time it hits the garden. The dog doesn't seem to know that it's there anymore and I get away with it. And here comes my helper dog now. This is Frank. <laughs> Cute. This bin's almost finished being added to. I'll fill it up to the top and then it'll just sit and decompose for months before I actually use it. This is a tub that I stopped adding to three months ago. It was full to the top but the level has dropped as you can see. That's still not ready to use. And this is what it looks like after it's been sitting there for three months. As you see, it's not decomposed yet, but it's well on the way, it just needs to sit. After it's been in the black tub and almost decomposed, I tend to put it into this big IBC bucket that's got the hole cut out so that the microbes, sorry, got the base cut out so the microbes can go from the soil to the compost and back again. Last year or the year before I did use it before it was broken down fully and the earwigs got to all of my seedlings and ate the seedlings. So that's why I now keep it for many more months in in a space like this, at least 12 months. This is what the compost looks like when it's been sitting there for about six months. I can't see any earwigs or slaters there, but I wouldn't trust it. So it'll just sit there for many more months. Lots of nice worms in there. Uh, Nick's put some pavers down for me on the compost area because it gets pretty mushy there when it rains. We've also got mulch from the Fertinia trees, just makes it more pleasant to attend. Thank you for watching.